Hello again. I'm Renata Zvezdova from iTechnology and in this tutorial we will take a look at iTechnology Forms Accelerator installation and configuration procedure. To install iTechnology Forms Accelerator you need Windows Server 2003 or 2008 with SharePoint already installed. You can use either Windows SharePoint services, the free version of SharePoint or Office SharePoint Server. For this demonstration I am using Windows Server 2003 with Windows SharePoint Services 3.0. In order to install, we first need to download it. This can be done from our website, myitechnology.com. You might be asked to register on the site so that you are able to download your copy. I would recommend that you download installation guide as well. There you will see detailed steps system requirements and full installation configurations and checks. Now I already have iTechnology Forms Accelerator installation downloaded and unzipped. The next step is to run the installer. Please note that installation should be run on the same server where SharePoint Central Administration site is installed. Installation also must be executed under credentials of the main user who has rights to add solutions to your SharePoint farm. There is nothing special about actual installation process. All I have to do is click next, select I agree and click next and next again. Once installation process is complete, my next task is to deploy the solution. To do this, open central administration, locate tab operations and select solution management. Here we can see that Site Definition Solutions is installed but not deployed. To deploy it, open the solution, select Deploy Solution link and here select the web application then click OK. Once this is done, iTechnology Forms Accelerator feature will be added to Site Collection features of the selected web application. What I have to do now is to activate the feature. Please note that iTechnology Forms Accelerator is a site collection feature. Done. As you can see, there is one new tab that appeared right after activating the feature. This is iTechnology Forms Accelerator management site. Before navigating to it, there is one more thing left to do. Activate iTechnology Forms Accelerator configuration helper feature. This feature is a farm level feature which updates necessary configurations on your SharePoint farm. It is not necessary to activate if you prefer to make all settings manually. For those of you who prefer this approach, there is detailed explanation in the installation guide. I prefer to activate this helper feature. It is in Central Administration again, Operations, Manage Farm Features section. Here is iTechnology Forms Accelerator Configuration Helper, which I will now activate. Done. Please note that sometimes it helps to do IIS reset command to ensure that web server picks up all changes. So when all this is done, we can say that iTechnology Forms Accelerator is installed. You can navigate to iTechnology Forms Accelerator management site and see the home page and you also can navigate to any already existing SharePoint list or document library. I would use root site and shared documents document library. I open menu item settings, then document library settings. Now we can see a new menu item added, integration with iTechnology Forms Accelerator. If management site displays, and you can see integration with iTechnology Forms Accelerator menu item then we consider that iTechnology Forms Accelerator is installed co correctly. In our next video we will perform basic configuration of iTechnology Forms Accelerator. Thank you for your time and see you soon!